Welcome to CG channel. In this video, we're going to learn about cutting holes in shapes. They're called compound parts. So let's get started. We've already created a, a letter-sized document in Landscape. So we're going to just grab the pencil tool. And if we draw something like that, in, using the pencil, you will find that the edges are not smooth enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the pencil icon and maximize the smooth option and also uncheck the keep selected option and it's okay. Great. Now we're going to uh, make a squiggle around the edge. Just like that and close the shape. And then we move on to the next one. We make another one inside this squiggle. You don't really need a stable hand for this. This is just run it around. And we'll make a third one inside that. And one more. One last to go. We're going to make a fourth one. There you go. Great. Now that we have our squiggles done, uh, we're going to take them apart so that it's easier for you to understand as well. So we're going to take them apart uh, one by one. So that, that's the first one, the outer shape. And there goes the second one. And the third one, we'll place it to the left. And the last one to the extreme left. And now I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle around the frame. And we could uh, align the first squiggle to this, to this rectangle, basing the rectangle uh, for the center alignment. Uh, so we've got to align it, center alignment, and there you go. Now we're going to take it out of the frame and let's color the rectangle. Let's give it a color. Let's give it a uh, yellowish, orangish color. Yes, and then holding Alt, we got to copy the rectangle for the for swiggle number two and align these two as well, much like we did for the first one. So go to align, center and center, horizontally and vertically. Then we're going to make another copy of the rectangle. So again, press Alt and uh, yeah for the third squiggle much like this center and center and one last for the last squiggle so hold alt and then just align it horizontally and, and vertically center align and we, 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 we will need one more rectangle for the base color uh, so something that we're going to do now and send these rectangles uh, to the back. So let's change the color of the, of the squiggle. So let's give it blue. Let's make another one green. And like I said, one last for the base color. So let's hold alt and make another copy and let's change the color to to, uh, let's pick orange. Great. Now, left click, hold, and select the rectangle and the squiggle. And then, when you right click, you will find make compound path option here. You can even go to object, and you will find that option there, compound path and make. And you can also find control A to be the shortcut. So you can use the shortcut for the next one as well. So there we go. It has created the hole. Uh, let's do this same thing for, for the rest. Compound path, compound path. And the last one. Let's make another compound path. Great. Now we have 
four different images. So the last squiggle, which was the smallest, should be placed first. And uh, obviously there's some... Uh, uh, let's bring it to the front. Okay, let's bring it to the front. So the, the shortcut for bringing to front is a shift control and then the right square back bracket. There you go. And then the last one, we'll have to do control shift and right square bracket, or you can use the, the arrange option from, from the right panel. Great, now we have our design ready. So let's beautify it further. So let's add a drop shadow. So let's go to uh, stylize and drop shadow option. Okay, and let's give it four point offset for X, for Y, four as well. And let's lower down the, the blur to maybe two points. So four, four, and then two should be good. Two should be fine, yeah, and then press. Okay, I think it's looking fine. In, at this stage, if, if you're computer is getting slow what you can do is you can go to effect and you can go to document roster effect setting and you can change the resolution to 72 ppi because it does happen with, with certain computers okay <clears throat> now that we have the design ready let's grab the text tool and type in uh, maybe cp or compound path and Let's change the font to Roboto, because that's a, that's a nice thick font. Roboto bold. And let's enlarge the, the font further. Enlarge it like that. So we're going to enlarge it and place it in the center. And we'll select all. And then we will right click and make clipping mask out of it so we, we can do it from here we can even go to object and make clipping mask from there and the, the shortcut is control 7 for that as you can see and there you go there you go that's your design isn't it looking nice so that's how you use the compound path uh, to make designs thank you